One of the great things about the holidays is we're bringing everybody together. One of the bad things about the holidays is that we're bringing everybody together. <laughs> so you may see things from your aging loved ones that may be a little bit disturbing to you. And what these are are warning signs that they need help. Mom and dad or other loved ones at your dinner table on Christmas or during the holidays they may have some serious problems. Some of those problems could result in injury, in depression, just all sorts of different things. So I'm gonna go down a list of things for you right here and just put, put a little bug in your brain just to say, hey, if you see any of these things, this may be an indication that your parents or your loved ones are slipping a little bit and they may need care to really help them thrive in their life instead of uh, being very worried about you know what the consequences of those those problems would be so first thing is is you know forgetfulness now we're all a little bit forgetful forgetfulness is probably the number one thing that we notice the most about our parents at the beginning stages of dementia so this may not be dangerous but it might be so you want to be at least mindful and kind of measuring the amount of forgetfulness that's going on. So that's number one. Number two, being unsteady on their feet. Falls, for example, can really be detrimental to an aging loved one. Uh, it can mean a broken hip. It could be mean a broken arm or a broken leg. Uh, I work with people a lot that, that fall into the caregiving world because of a fall. In fact, probably 60 to 70% of uh, our first time clients have come to us because they had a fall serious enough to go into the hospital, into the skilled nursing facility. So, um, so the best thing to do is prevent that, whether with a caregiver or having uh, the right equipment and safety in the house itself. Next thing is driving right is your parents are your parents still driving uh, would you allow your kids or your grandkids to drive with your parents if the answer is no then you may have a problem are your are your parents stressed are they worried are, has their anxiety gone up to a degree where it's kind of like wow they are just very worried about every single thing um, or they're, they're really angry about a lot of things. And I know with uh, the news, like the news that we're experience, experiencing now, I don't watch a lot of news because I don't want all that stuff in my head. But, you know, people that are watching Fox News, you know, three times a day or CNN three times a day or, you know, pick your poison, right? Um, it's all negative. Uh, <clears throat> and so you really, you really want to... You know, introduce some old black and white movies, some some uh, uh, some better things for them to be watching, and and the best thing to do that with is having having somebody there, you know, caring for them to encourage those types of things. Uh, next on the list is uh, their decision making process. You know, dementia really affects our executive part of the brain, which is uh, the part of the brain that makes decisions. So, are they making poor decisions? Are they making good decisions? Obviously we were talking about driving you know dementia is not great for driving right we know that um, uh, next the next one is based on a decision a lot of people will make a decision to say not take a shower because it's dangerous to go take a shower if you're seeing that they don't groom themselves like they once did then that could be an indicator that they need some care as well all right, well, hey, I've given you a whole laundry list here. I'm not gonna go on and on, but just know that um, uh, there's nothing wrong with getting a little help if, if you're seeing some of these signs and it could be a real proactive way to keep your mom and dad upright and healthy for a, for a while. So um, give me a call if you have any questions and I wanna wish everybody happy holidays and talk to you soon.